Uh, we're really excited to be on the climbing, um, get home and, and get rested here a little bit for a game against Ohio State and Iowa. Obviously, they're important games for us in the Big Ten um, standings and tournament uh, run here. So um, with our seniors being honored on Sunday, I think it's going to be uh, a, a great game to kind of top off their four or five years here. And, um, you know, I think that the team is looking to rebound off of our loss to Nebraska. And I think uh, having an early game on Wednesday is going to be good for us and exciting to get back on the field to prove um, what we can do as a team. Question from AJ. Um, Coach, what has a senior class meant to the Badger program? Um, you know, I don't know if I can sum it up in a short amount of time just because of the impact that they've had. Um, all Kimmy, Murtha, Lauren, um, Rice, Jordan Bloomer, Maya Sell have all been all Big Ten players for the past couple of years and have had and been instrumental in our um, defense and our attack. And, um, you know, not just as players, but as people um, being able to bring kind of what we want from the culture to the program. Um, they have obviously brought the program a long way and um, they've meant a lot in terms of scoring, but also just as people um, bringing a lot to just even off the field stuff from personality to competitiveness to leadership, all these things they've brought have been pretty incredible to help our, our program achieve pretty incredible things. Um, you talked about the importance of these two games, you know, coming up against Iowa and Ohio State. Um, how important is it to play these, you know, final two you know, regular season games at home, you know, a place that you guys are familiar with and, you know, you don't have to deal with, you know, traveling to you know, somewhere different? Um, I think it's important because we're able to, to control our environment really well. Um, you know, we know where we're, they're gonna, kids are going to eat. Um, you know, obviously, their sleep patterns are going to be better in that way. Um, and we have all the modalities and stuff that we need for recovery, whether it's massage or um, contrast bathing or whatever it might be. We have those all right now to make sure that we're maximized for the game on Wednesday um, against Ohio State, which is the first game, the most critical game right now that we can control. Um, Natalie Vigiano scored a huge goal against Northwestern on, uh, you know, Thursday night, a team that, you know, she's familiar with, with her sister playing for him. I mean, how big was it not only for her to, you know, score that goal, but for, you know, just looking at her season overall, you know, knowing what she's gone through the last couple of years to get to this point. Yeah, she's battled about a year and a half of injuries and uh, to see her, you know, I, I think at the beginning of the year, she was, she was good, but she's getting better and better as she's getting played in, you know, any player that's coming off a year and a half of recovery from injuries, it's going to take them a little while to get into the flow of the games and she really has um, gotten better and impactful for what we're doing, you know, a goal against uh, Purdue, I know we didn't get result there, but again, creating assist against Illinois. She has really kind of gotten elevate herself in that role, um, and I think it was a little bit of a uh, a nice way for her to to score against her sister's alma mater. I know there was kind of banter back and forth between the two of them, um, and you know obviously Marissa was a great player at Northwestern, so uh, that's fun. But I think one of the biggest things was that. It was great to get the goal for the team. I think the defensive effort that we had in that game uh, was probably the best we had all year from, from forwards to the midfielders to defenders, kind of what we talked about has been our traditionally um, Wisconsin team. And I think, you know, we, we were trying to find a goal, trying to find a goal and obviously some good defending um, helped us create that goal. So I think not just for Natalie, but for the team, it kind of showed that if they're disciplined and they defend well, the goals will come. Speaking of defenders, um, Aiden McConnell was named one of the top you know, 100 freshmen by top pro soccer, you know, having a, you know, freshman, you know, playing, you know, as many minutes as, you know, she has, I mean, how has she looked out there, you know, kind of anchoring that defense? Um, you know, she's been great. And I think it's, uh, anyone who knows college soccer knows that if you ask a freshman to step in as a center back and, and start and play as many minutes as Aiden has, it's challenging to do. And the most impressive thing for me as a coach, and, and I've coached a lot of good center backs. I think we've had a lot of all big 10 center backs here at Wisconsin that her ability to absorb knowledge and information and process it and get better as the season's going. You know, our ability to play out and play more has been because of Aiden and she's only a freshman. And that's just really exciting for me because like I said, the information she takes in and how she's starting to direct stuff and the tempo of the game that she's starting to do that every year I just see it gonna get better and better and better and better because she is so coachable and so willing to learn and she has, the tools to be able to be um, one of the best center midfielders in the country, I mean, center backs in the country.